Happy New Year, everyone. Let's just take a second to reflect back on 2020. A lot happened. A lot has happened. What up, crew? This is the first video of 2021, and I'd like to start off this year, this first video, by thanking you for your support. And it's because of you that we got this far, and it's because of you that we'll get a lot further. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my 2021 goals for this channel, and I'm also gonna be sharing with you updates on my playing cards. So excited for those. Oh, and as far as the video schedule goes for this month, it's gonna be a little inconsistent, but of course, if you want more details on that, you can check that out in the Underground Club. So my goals for this year are 25K subscribers here on YouTube and 40 Underground Club members, and all this is done by December 31st, 2021. And of course, another huge goal for me is to start working on the Underground Club playing cards as soon as we get to 25 members. So if you have a couple of dollars lying around and really want to contribute, I would highly recommend you to join the Underground Club. I'll leave the link to that down in the description. Now, based off my experience from last year, these are not going to be easy goals to hit at all, but I'm going to power through and we're going to make it happen. So let's talk about these playing cards that I'm working on releasing really soon. Um, if you've been following along on my YouTube community page or on my Instagram, I'm sure you've seen some aspects of the deck being revealed. The name of the deck is Canis Lupus, which roughly translates to wolf. And in particular, it is the Great Wolf. So the reason I picked the wolf is because uh, the wolf represents spirit, loyalty, and self-confidence. And these are also traits that I think I would also see in myself. And the reason I picked the color uh, purple is because it generally represents uh, power, nobility, and ambition. But I didn't want it to be purple alone. I also wanted to add uh, something else to this deck, another aspect. So I decided to go with the uh, Amethyst Gemstone. And a fun fact that actually represents tranquility, which I think really adds to this whole um, combination really well. And it's really putting all these things together, the wolf, the color purple, the Amethyst Gemstone, that really gave me what I wanted this deck to represent. Of course, there are other reasons why I also picked these, and I really talk about it a lot more in detail in my deck creation vlogs, which can also be found in the Underground Club, by the way. But that's really all I wanted to share with you here on the symbolism and representation as part of this deck. One last thing, I actually submitted all my designs to the USPCC right before they went on break. So uh, I currently have to work with them, get everything approved when they come back. So tentatively, the first week of February is when this deck will be released for pre-order. And fun fact, the birthstone for February is the Amethyst. So clearly this was all planned out quite well. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, okay. As I mentioned earlier, I'm still not back to my normal uploading schedule. Uh, hopefully that'll resume back in February. And the reason for that is of course, is because I'm still working through all the details of these cards, making sure everything is good to go for the launch. And of course, uh, make sure to keep following me on Instagram and the YouTube community page because I will be having a lot of updates on there. Like I, hope, I have this whole thing planned. So many updates will be coming your way. All that being said, I'm not officially back yet. I just wanted to make this video for the new year, but you'll be seeing me really soon. So have a great year ahead and peace out.